Yo, what's up with it? This is your boy Nuni. This is Leo in the third house. Back with another reading. This is going to be another random read, another surprise read for another random sign. We won't know until we get done. We're going to shake it up and figure out who's it for. Um, as always, thanks to those new subbies, to those old subbies, to those old people who can comment and share, liking, subscribing, telling people to subscribe. Yo, we growing. I'm excited about that. <sighs> this is really an exciting journey. And I'm really excited to be here. So um, I don't want to do too much talking. I feel like there's something I need to say, but um, I'll just you know figure it out later on. So let's just get going. Let's get started. Let's see what the overall energy is of this arena. Okay. Believe in the impossible. So here we go. There's an energy of you not believing that something is going on, or this might be a bit, bit far-fetched, this energy that, that I'm feeling like. Or this is something that only happens once in a while. Like this, this opportunity that comes along is something that might only happen once in a while. You're needing to trust in yourself, trust in, and trust in your, your own intuition, trust in your own vibe, trust in your own energy. That's too many. We're going to take that many. Mm. Hmm. This might not be the deck. We're going to see, though. Let's shuffle one more time. Okay, so... Getting the energy of you not being able to leave a situation, you know, wanting to leave, but not quite ready to leave. Maybe you've got some type of emotional attachment, connection to it, but you're not able to leave from it right now. But I'm getting the energy. So this has to do with you believing in impossible. So you just feel like you just can't get right. Like this whole, you're probably stuck in a cycle where you feel like you just can't get your balance. All right. There's an the energy of you wanting to leave, wanting to, wanting to like possibly stay, but you just haven't really quite made up your mind. It's like your emotions are tugging at you, all right? But that's only because you haven't balanced out your own emotions. So in the, in the near future, in the next few weeks, you're going to be basically doing some healing and letting go of the burdens from the past, like letting go of that mental anguish and just basically working on yourself, taking time out. This was a, a wish fulfillment. I mean, a wish that just didn't come true. It was a wish toward it. You hoped it was going to happen. There was a lot of hope. There was a lot of aspirations for this being what you were hoping. You were just... You're really just disappointed. You know what I mean? It's like you felt like you put in some effort. You put, you put in some work. There was a need to be strong. There was a need to be more resilient and to let go of the harsh criticisms of the past. You know, maybe you were being a bit rough, a bit harsh on people. There's Leo energy here. There's Leo energy. There's, uh, there's Scorpio. There's Taurus. And then there's Aquarius energy as well as Sagittarius energy and Aries energy and Aquarius energy again. So I'm getting this energy of... Um, if you basically need to be strong, let go of these harsh judgments, you know, stop this inner turmoil that you've been giving yourself because it didn't play out the way that you were hoping it to play out. You're going to be needing to take, take some time out for yourself and heal. Don't let pride get in your way. So it's like you might be wanting this to pan out a certain way and it didn't. And that's where it's right next to the strength card in reverse with the Leo right here. So you could be dealing with the Leo. This could entail with the Leo. But it's having to do with you basically not feeling strong enough, not feeling proud enough, because what, what it was that you expected, the work that you put into this relationship or the work that you put into this situation just didn't pan out the way you want to. So you come into this energy really wanting to walk away, but just feeling like you can't walk away. And it's really because your pride is in the way. You don't want to feel like you put so much effort or so much time into this and it didn't play out the way that you were hoping it would play out. But, you know, but your advice is... Uh, just don't let pride get in your way. You know, maybe it didn't go the way you wanted, but that is not a reflection of who you are. You are good enough. All right. I'm picking up Virgo energy. You know, maybe this is more of a time to give to yourself, a time to heal, a time to work on with your own manifestations, work on your own physical, work on your own emotional well-being. That's what I'm getting. Working on your, your own emotional well-being and these depressive thoughts. You have wisdom. So for you, it might feel like it doesn't make sense. But what they're advising and asking you to do is look at the bigger picture. 
You are moving towards a deeper level of understanding from the knowledge to wisdom. It takes time to absorb the lessons. OK, so maybe you were just feeling a bit impatient and like this just isn't working or going in my favor. You know, I put a lot of work in this. I put effort into this and it just isn't, you know, yielding any results, you know, and just feels like this. You're like you're repeating the same cycle of like unbalancedness of not being a uh, whole within yourself. That's the energy. You're not whole within yourself. So it's advising you within the next few weeks. You're going to be going through a stage where you're going to be needing to heal and realize that this was a blessing in disguise. And that this didn't play out the way that it needs to, but you need to drop these mental burdens and these emotional, this emotional stagnancy. You're going to be needing to get rid of it. You know, you need to water your own cup. And two cards, I'm getting the energy of you needing to water your own cup, of actually needing to heal yourself and focus on you. All right, because you're really just upset and your pride is like you don't want to lose this situation. So in your mind, you're thinking of letting go of control or you're thinking that this may not be long term, that this may not last as long as you were hoping it to. And that's that's just how it be sometimes. That's just the energy I'm getting like just that, that really is the energy like that's just how it be sometimes. You know, it doesn't always play out the way that you would like it to. You can do your very best and things just still go awry. They just don't pan out how you would hope they would. You know, you can do your part, but it's more than a per one person party or it's more than one person who's involved in a team. All right. So you're needing to just focus on yourself, balance out these emotions. You have opposing thoughts, opposing ideas or opposing, opposing, uh, opposing emotions that are keeping you stagnant. Like I said, in the beginning, you come into this reading, wanting to walk away, but feeling like you can't, like something's, you know, tugging at you, like either from guilt or from shame. It's just a feeling of not being like at, at one or at peace with, with the way that you're feeling. You're in just in two opposing thoughts. All right. And this really might just be a, a blessing in disguise that you're just not quite aware of, but it's giving you more wisdom and more understanding and then not to let pride get in your way and to let go of these burdens. Don't let pride get in your way. You didn't lose. This wasn't a loss. All right. This was a lesson. And this is what you're learning, how you're learning more about relationships, how you're learning more about yourself in the world and how you're learning at the world about the world at large. All right. But you are good enough. This may be more of a time for you to focus on you and give more to yourself. So you have an energy of basically like putting your energy in the wrong way. You know, it's like you're, you're going to be victorious. You have a moral high ground here and you're going to be victorious in the, in the fight, but you're going to really have to put some effort into it. You really have to know where you're fighting and pick and choose your battles. All right. Because the energy of wanting to control, but feeling like you've lost control. OK. And, that, and it's really because you just need to balance your own emotions. You, you want to control others. It might have to do something with kids, but you want to control others. All right. There's an energy of like you wanting to control others and feeling like you've lost your control. So there's a there's like a fear of fighting or of possibly losing. But you do have a moral high ground in this moment. You know, it's just that I'm getting that you might be fighting the wrong battles. All right. That's the energy I'm getting. You might be fighting. You might be fighting the wrong battles. All right. And it's more so the battle for control over others, others. You know, you can only control yourself. You can't control what others do. And so you have don't let pride get in your way. And, and this is pride in because you really want to basically like take control. And you want them to do what it is that you want them to do. And, you know, and for you, it doesn't make sense, but it's telling you to see the bigger picture. You're moving towards a deeper level, a deeper level of understanding from knowledge to wisdom. It takes time to absorb these lessons. All right. So release this harsh judgment and the harsh criticism and that inner dialogue that you have with yourself about it not working out and things not panning out in your favor the way you would want. This isn't a loss. Don't let your pride get in the way of this. All right. There's a lesson that you're meant to learn in this. So your likely outcome. Let's get that out real quick. Your likely outcome is Queen of Cups in reverse. All right. So I'm getting you basically maybe holding your emotions or nurturing yourself still. Right. Yeah, you and your loved ones are safe. This is a card of actually nurturing yourself, nurturing your family, coming close with people who you love. This is cancer energy. So you could this could be a cancer reading, all right, because we still have cancer on the board. So this could be a cancer reading, you know, but I'm getting this energy of you and your loved ones are safe. So that means that you're really in a good place right now. So it's time for you to be able to focus on yourself. Your loved ones are safe. The people that you really care about genuinely are doing OK. There's no need to even be worried. You need to focus on you. Give those love and those emotions and those feelings to yourself. You know, this is a this is a card also in reverse. The queens in reverse sometimes represent selfishness. The queen of cups and the queen of pentacles in reverse usually represent selfishness, you know, and sometimes the queen of wands too, but that's a little bit different. You know I mean? That's a little bit pushy. But anyway, we're not gonna go that far. So queen of cups, this is you basically like holding in those emotions, like, you know, keeping those feelings to yourself, nurturing yourself, you know, giving just basically sharing those emotions with yourself. You know what I mean? 
or not or not um you're not offering them to anybody else, basically. You know what I mean? You're going to be just taking this time out for yourself. Because the people that you genuinely care about, who are genuinely there for you, they're okay. So you only need to focus on you. You got the cups, I mean, the star in reverse, temperance in reverse, six of swords in reverse, strength in reverse. These are all cards of you needing to be strong and finding your inner strength within your, within your, excuse me, whoo, it's coming through. And I'm starting to sweat. So... <clears throat> This is you basically needing to balance out your emotions, balance out your psychological factors, like get in touch with these opposing thoughts and these opposing feelings that you have and realize that this is all has a greater meaning to it. It's a deeper meaning to it. And these aspirations that you might have had may not be necessarily a bad thing that they didn't pan out the way that you would like them to. You know, you're needing to release the burdens and this mental anguish and this mental stress that you have in this situation and realize that every fight isn't always worth fighting. You can't control other people. All right. So you're going to need to do more time out filling your feelings and, and internalizing your own emotions as opposed to sharing your feelings or as opposed to offering your feelings and emotions to other people. You don't need to share your love with other people right now. Right now, you need to love on yourself extra hard. But don't let pride get in your way just because this situation didn't play out the way you like it. All right. Or the way that you intended it to. So let's go with your advice and see what else we got. And then we're going to figure out who we got two cards. So I'm going to give it to you. It says, Jewel, you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold awaits beyond the horizon. All will soon clear. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. And then you have balance. It says, difference is necessary part of human evolution. And everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light. Both are necessary. And then your last card is patience. So that's also what temperance is in reverse, and the need for patience. You know, while you're, while you're actually bringing these things together, you need to be patient with yourself. You need to be uh, more nurturing and compassionate with yourself. Be more forgiving of yourself. You know what I mean? Star in the temperance and reverse and connect it. That's why you're at, a, at odds with, your, with yourself emotionally, okay? But it says patience. Patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. Didn't I just say that? A, breast, a blessing in disguise, that you're feeling impatient, that you that the way things were paying out, they weren't really working. You got tired of waiting for them to, to, to go in your favor. What it's saying is all is perfect as it is. Trust. You are eternally loved and guided. Come on, man. You are good. Just focus on you right now. <clears throat> Give yourself the love that you were trying to offer someone else. You know what I mean? That's what's going to bring you in peace and in balance within yourself. But don't let ego get in your way of thinking that you need to control someone else to get the outcome you're looking for. And this is for Libra. Okay? So Libra, thanks for watching. This is your boy Nooney, and this is Leo in the Third House.